Welcome to Power for Your Living podcast with Prophet Daniel Amwating, a timely, inspirational, and revelational message to restore your life and destiny. This message gives you the power to live your best life given to you by God. Now, to today's message. My horn is my favor. And my horn is my favor. My horn is my power. My horn is my power. Listen, this is the background. Everybody has a horn. Everybody has a horn. God has given everybody a spiritual horn. Everybody, God has given you a spiritual horn. Give me my base test, Psalm 92, verse number 10. This is our base test that you have a horn. Let's establish the fact that you have a horn. And today I'm going to speak to you about your horn and your mouth. Say, my horn and my mouth. My horn and my mouth. Now, okay, let me say, what's the meaning for my horn and my mouth? My horn and my words. The, 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 the power in your horn is connected to the power in your voice and your words. If you speak for people to recognize and listen to you, it's about how your horn has been activated. Your horn is connected to your words. Your horn is connected to your hands. Whatever that comes to a person's hand is connected to their horn. If your horns are broken, your hands are cut off. Anything you want to receive, if you can't receive it, check your horn level. And um, so many things will happen. One, two, three, let's go. One, two, three, let's go. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. In the course of this whole series, I will show you how to grow your horn. How to protect your horn. How to preserve your horn. And one of the easiest ways to preserve your horn is in the test right there. The answer is in the test. It says, for I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Anointing prepares and grows your horn. That's why whoever is anointed, I've told you, anointing is not just for the pastor. Whatever that you do, you've got to be anointed. Some people are anointed to sell coconuts. I'm going to say the truth. And their coconut selling is on another level. Some people are anointed to teach and their teaching is on another level. Some people are anointed to farm. So everything you do, you've got to be anointed. Why? Because the horn in that area has to grow. When the horn, oh clap your hands and bless God. When the horn in that particular area and the field begins to be exalted, you stand out. And by the power of God, may you get to that realm and that level. Amen. Say, my horn and my mouth. My horn and my mouth. So let's go. First Samuel chapter 2, verse number 1. This is my test for tonight. In the next 15 minutes, and today we'll pray into our horns. In Jesus' name, amen. So this, this, this is Hannah, who has just prayed. And she has just become pregnant. Because she's been barren for years. And her mocha, by the name of Penina, was always laughing at her and saying to her, when will you have a baby? The one day, when everybody left the service, Hannah said, I will stay behind. Sometimes, in order for you to receive the unusual, you've got to do the unusual. She said, I will stay behind. And when she was praying, the man of God said, I think you are drunk. I think you are a crazy lady. Hannah said, I'm sorry, I'm not crazy. But with what I've been through, I look like a crazy person. Sometimes when you are desperate for something, some people might think you're a fanatic. Some people My might God. think you don't have time and you are wasting your time. My God. But when the tent when the thing turns around, this is something unique around your destiny. Yes, Lord. May the altar surprise you on every side. Amen. So Hannah knew something about the home. So out of her prayer, this is what Hannah said. Hannah said, and Hannah prayed and said, my heart, my heart rejoice in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the horn. So this time around, my horn has been activated. And the moment my horn is activated, this is the good news. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies. Jesus. It means the words from my mouth from today will overrule and go beyond yes, the words of my enemies. Jesus. So when Penina is laughing at me, from today, it will not happen again. Because my, 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 my praise will be higher than her insults. God is about to give you praise instead of insults. Yes, Lord. Because I rejoice in thy salvation. Help me to give to the, my, the title of my sermon to the, the person on your left and right and say, My neighbor. My neighbor. By your horn. By your horn. Don't close your mouth. Don't close your mouth. Turn to that person and say, My neighbor. My neighbor. By your horn. By your horn. You will do well. She will do well. You may Amen. be seated in the presence of the living God. Some of the things this whole series is tailored to teach us in the course of the eight weeks. What a horn is. What happens to a person when your horn is working. When your horn is cut off, when your horn is not working. Types of horns, benefit of horns. 
What causes a person's horn to grow? What affects a person's horn not to grow? How to preserve and protect your horn? The anointing and the horn. Your horn and your forehead. Your horn and your victory level. Your horn and your crown. And no matter the situation, your horns can grow again after it has been cut off by the grace of God. We also have group horns, as in, as in family horns, town horns, country horns. We have the horns of a whole country. When the horns of a country is going well, everything works well over the country. And some of the things I'll be teaching about is horn and salvation. And also the people that horns work for them, David, Joshua, all of them, their horns were working. And how horns are, can be used to break any shadow and spirit of delay. Someone say, I break delay. I break delay. And I'll let you know that God is your horn. i also let you know that you have a horn. Horns have eyes. Horns have mouth. They see and they can talk. I showed you some of it on Sunday. And also horns and the altar. Say horns and the altar. Horns and the altar. Now, um, when God was this, um, directing them to build altars, God asked them to build altars. And when they build altars, uh, um, four horns will be placed on the sides of the altar. And this is what happens. When somebody does anything evil outside, when somebody even kills a person, and they are running away. When they come to the altar and hold the horn, nobody is permitted to kill them back. Yeah, it's in the Bible. Because horns are very powerful. Let me continue. Your horn is connected to your mouth, your hands, and your face. Horns can make you a king. Horn can make you a leader. David and Solomon are the only people in the Bible that were anointed with the oil in the horn. How your horn can be connected to the an iron. God will protect your, your horn to become an iron. So let me show you what happens to a person when their horns are working. When a person's horns are working, this is what shows up in their life. Number one, they are easily favored by people. This is the next one. They are able to lift up their head out of shame. This is the next one. It's very difficult for this kind of people to be defeated. It causes them not to be afraid of situations. You walk in life with full confidence. You don't run away from problems, but you confront them all the time. And let me continue with this. It's difficult for your enemies to scare you. And the work of your hands are always protected. When your horns are working, your finances are secured. When your horns are working, your life is protected. When your horns are working, your health is secured. And when your horns are working, people accept you. When your horns are working, people easily recognize you. I have a lot. Let me pause it over there. What happens to a person when their horns are being attacked and their horns are not working? Number one, anyone can walk on them. Anyone can defeat them. They are easily disgraced. Another person can take away their place. It's easy for sickness to end their lives. You easily fall down in life. Your crown is always under attack. You easily lose the work of your hands. When your horns are not working, witchcraft is never afraid of you. When your horns are not working, people overlook you. No one recognizes you. Enemies easily scare you. And let me give you the last one for here. I have a lot. The last one for here is you walk in fear. When your horns are not working. When you speak for people to listen to what you are saying. It's connected to the words in your mouth. And the power in the words of your mouth are connected to your horns. Say, I have a horn. Have a horn. Hannah said, God has enlarged my mouth over my enemies. And we all know that Hannah's greatest enemy was Penina. The Bible says Hannah will go through Pain of bitterness because this lady is always laughing at her. First Samuel chapter 1 verse number 5. Let's see how Hannah was going through this pain of bitterness because someone was laughing at her. The Bible says, um, give me NIV. The Bible says, let's go even right now. It says, but to Hannah, the husband will give double portion because he loved her. But the Lord had closed her womb. Sometimes, based on what you are going, they don't even know God sometimes is behind it. And God wants to get praise out of your situation. Jesus. So they've got to be very careful before they laugh at you. Yes, Lord. Because God himself is doing something. Jesus. Today. If God knew, knows something about it, then definitely he also knows something about my testimony. Let this become your story in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. So let's go, let's go. He says right now, God has closed her womb. Let's go. Because the Lord had closed Hannah's womb. Now this is it. Her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate her. So every day, sometimes when your rival, the person fighting you is far away, it's normal. 
Because it will take you three months each time to see them. But what will you do when the case is in the house? Now, the case in the house does not mean the person sitting, sitting by you or staying by you. It simply means when the cause of your case is from your background. When the cause of your case is from the background, it can be broken by the power of the horn. If anything is from your father's house or your mother's house, tormenting your life by virtue of the horn, may it be broken in the name of Jesus. Her rival kept on provoking her in order to irritate her. Jesus. When you are being irritated in life, when you sleep, you wake up. Yes, as if Lord. you have gotten different kinds of sicknesses, but you don't know what to do. And any time you see the one provoking you, your heart begins to beat higher up. Because what do I do? Because what I'm looking for, the person who doesn't like me has it. What will you do when the person who doesn't like you has what you have? Or has what you are looking for? What will you do? And sometimes you ask yourself, that God, are you with me? God, do you love me? What have I done? But this is the good news for somebody. It will Jesus. not stay for long. Yes, Lord. Oh, the last to say the amen. Yes, Lord. I said it will not stay for long. Jesus. Give me the NLT version for the same place and look at what was going on. So Penny now will taunt Hannah and make fun of her. Because the Lord has kept her from having children. So she will just make fun of her. And sometimes when people are making fun of you, they are subtle ways. They don't just come close to laugh at you, but they just pass some subtle comments. And, 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 and there and then, you don't feel it. But when you are alone in your closet, then you remember what they said. It yes, begins Lord. to cut off your heart and say, what will I do? Let's go continue. Let's continue right now. Let's continue right now. So year after year, it was the same. Power of worship, while service, I came to ask you one question. What is the case in your life that has gone on year after year? Je but anytime something goes on year after year, what can stop it is your spiritual horn. Mm -hmm. So all this time, Hannah had a horn, but she didn't know. But the day she recognized the horn, she said, God, exalt my horn, and now enlarge my mouth over my enemies. My mouth now does not mean that the centimeters were increased, diameter was increased, circumference was increased. It simply meant, now when she speaks, it is powerful than what the enemy is saying against her. So when, when Penina is mocking her, Hannah will be singing. Because Hannah will say that God has been good to me. Anywhere your praise song has been kept. Anywhere your praise song has been kept. Jesus. I drop it on you now. Year after year, Penina would tell Hannah as they went to the tabernacle. And the most painful thing in life is when your trouble is in the church. Sometimes with the person, the person you are praying with will be the one that has been laughing at you. But I will not go there for long. When your problem is in the church. The one that you thought was your Christian sister. Was the one that the last time you gave, you gave your testimony, they went to ask somebody, are you sure it's real? Because I know her background. Nobody in their background has been able to make it before. Is it real? What will you do? When where you go to pray is where the attender is coming from. Jesus. But any time you have a miracle somewhere, that is where they attack you. That's why when you come to this church, don't mind anybody. When you stand on my feet, I will still come. Yes, Because Lord. when I come here, I don't come for Daniela Martin. Jesus. I don't come for an altar. Jesus. I came for the God on the altar. Jesus. Because it is not you that will give me my testimony. It Jesus. is the God on the altar that will give me my testimony. Yes, the God of the altar will not laugh at me. Jesus. He doesn't know my past. Yes, he even Lord. knows, but he has forgotten about my past. Jesus. You know my, my tomorrow is shielded in mystery. Yes, because if God was to let people know your tomorrow. Jesus. Everybody would have been your friend today. Yes, although they are fake around you. God. But God will hide your tomorrow yes, from people so that they will talk about you from your past. Yes, so Lord. that when God begins to elevate you, by, by the time you get them, yeah. all the wrong people will leave you and by go. God. Let's go. Then, then, then. Went to the tabernacle and each time Hannah would be reduced to tears and would not even eat. Has something caused you not to eat for three days, although you are not fasting? Everybody, the person around you and say, ah, 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 Has it happened to you before? Has it happened to you before? 
I see some girls laughing and I know what they are saying, broken heart. <laughs> Although you are not fasting, but you couldn't eat. My God. Child of God, hear me. You get to a point and say, God, are you real? God, are you there? But this mystery I teach in this church is for one reason. That the spiritual principles of the Christian life is what I teach over here. That you have a spiritual horn. And sometimes, instead of praying for the thing, just activate the horn. So after Hannah went through this, she said, Ah, God, exalt my horn. And 2 verse 1, she says, Now my mouth is enlarged over the words of my enemies. Now what they used to say about me, people cannot hear again. Because what will come from my mouth will, have, will be higher than them. Amen. Listen, people are about to fall in love with you. I'm not talking about dating a relationship. People will just love yes, you. Sir. They will love you. They will love you. They will love you. Say, I activate my horn. Say, my horn is working today. My horn is working today. Say, my horn is powerful. My horn is powerful. Say, the moment my horn is being exalted, my words, my mouth, my speech, my voice is in line. Today, one person's voice will cause havoc in the demonic Amen. kingdom. One person's voice will speak in a family house. One person's voice shall be heard in Ghana. Jesus. Today, I speak over, oh, I like what I said. I like what I'm about to say. Can I tell you? I said, I like what I'm about to say. Can I tell you? The Lord told you to tell somebody the voice of your business, Jesus. the voice of your company yes, Lord. is about to be heard across board. Amen. Customers from the left and right, yes, Lord. they are jumping on board. Jesus. They will love your brand, yes, Lord. they will love your business, yes, Lord. they will love whatever that you do. The voice of your children yes, shall be heard everywhere. Jesus. Places you could not enter. Places you could not go. Jesus. When your horn is exalted, yes, your voice will enter, yes, your voice will go. Yes, Let your voice be heard. Yes, but your voice can only be heard Jesus. when your horn yes, is activated. Jesus. So now for a few minutes, I have eight minutes to go. It says, now my voice, my mouth is alive over my enemies. Ezekiel 29 verse number 21. Let's see the voice again, the mouth again. And sometimes what causes a person's mouth to close? KGV right now. Um, look at it now. It says, in that day, I will cause the horn of the house of Israel. So I made you to know that. You don't have individual horns. You can also have a horn of a family. A horn of a region. A horn of a town. When the horn of your village is cut off, nobody makes it in that village. That's right. There are some villages, everybody becomes great. Oh, am I saying the truth? Jesus. Because their horns are still working. So the horn of the house of Israel will bat forth. Bat forth simply means yesterday there was no horn, but today the horn has come. Today I came to cause your horn to bat forth. I caused your horn to bat forth. Amen. Give me, give, give me some pictures of horn before I, I go. Give me some pictures of horn. Horns. So as people are moving in life, this is what they carry. Look at it. This is what you carry. Let's go. It's for your safety. It's for your power. It works for you. It works for you. Before I go to the test, I showed some video, I think on Sunday, when an animal was being chased by three different creatures. But the animal remembered my sermon and said, I have a horn. Sorry. One animal against three. And let's see how the horn worked. And let me show you. Now, at first, this animal is running away. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This animal is running away. It's afraid. doesn't know what to do. Then the animal remembered. The Hannah said, my horn is exalted. Three against one. What will you do when three is chasing you? One, two, three. Everywhere. Others are coming. Look at it. The animal remembers that I have a horn. And every horn has eyes. So although the physical eyes on the ground, the eye of the horn is still working. Look at it. Horns are powerful. Horns are powerful. Horns are powerful. Horns are powerful. Before you heard this sermon, at first, you didn't know that is what you carry. So right now, it has started. He said, let me use, oh my God. Yes, let me Lord. use one horn. Let yes, me empower. Lord. Let me go. Jesus. Let me use the horn I carry. Yes, God. Finish it now. No. Now that animal, the leopard, 
has blood here. Look at it. Pause there. Tomorrow, when the leper sees any other animal that has a horn, be very careful. <laughs> Clap your hands and bless God. Yes, Lord. And give me the one, I think the fourth one, that the same animal like this one had the horn, but they didn't know. And became a victim of purpose. Look at it. Beautiful animal. Look at it. Now look at the revelation. One against one. The other one was one against three. But the one that knew the horn was able to fight three. The one that didn't even know horn, if you won, he couldn't kill. Look at it. And, and when you don't use your horn, they hit your horn to the ground. Look at what he did to the horn of the animal on the ground. And the ground is dust. When I'm teaching you how people lose their horn, I'll tell you that in the spiritual realm, they throw dust on them. When the dust is thrown on you, your horn gets to the ground. Look at it. Do you know that the horn of this animal, what, the, the, the weight of the horn of an animal, it can carry about two different lions. It can carry them. Give me the fifth one. The fifth one I just said, give it to me. The fifth one. One horn can carry a big lion. No, no, the fifth one. Help me, okay? Be very spiritual there. The one that carried, the one that carried the lion, I, I gave two, I gave two this evening, so the other one that carried, very quick, look at it now, look at it now, look at it now. Let's go again, let's go again. 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 Chat, 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 what hear me? You don't know what a horn can do. Look at it again, look at it again. Look at it again. Some of you, by the time we are through in these seven weeks, Jesus. this is how your enemies will be paralyzed. Yes, this is how they will fall. Yes, God. Your enemy is not the person who doesn't like you. My God. Poverty is your enemy. Shame yes, is your enemy. Yes, For stress, sickness is your enemy. Sickness is All enemy. of them will be paralyzed before Let you. Paralyze. And the most painful thing in life it's when you don't even have a horn at all. You will forever be cha you will be running and animals will be chasing you. Demons will be chasing you. Let's see it right now. The last one. Let's go. When you don't have a horn. Be, look, look at it right now. Even when you are eating, you can't eat. Look at it. The same lion that was moving like this is now having food to eat. If you don't protect your life, somebody will make you Jesus. Their, somebody will make you their breakfast. Ask the person around you, where is your horn? Oh. Let's go back to my test. I have four minutes to go. Look at it right now, KGV. Look at it now. Let's go. Let's go. It says, in that day, I will call the horn of the house of Israel to back for. Can I speak my good news to you? Yes. The horn of your family. Jesus. Listen, if it's only you that is a Christian, and the 90% is not Christian, only you, may God cause because of you. Yes, Lord. Cause the whole horn of the family to back for. Yes, Lord. And this is it. Sit down for a minute. I will give thee the opening of mouth in the midst of them. So if you get to a place and you can speak, it's about your horn. That's why. The opening of mouth, that's why I let you know that when people dream and they see nightmares and animals are chasing them and things are happening and they want to open their mouth and they can't speak. G -g 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 -g. They can't speak. Their horns are not working. You can see the thing is coming. You want to speak, you couldn't speak. Your horn was not working. But when your home begins to speak, your mouth is opened. Yes, and Lord. today, let your mouth be opened. Yes, yes, it Lord. says, your mouth will be opened in the midst of them. Yes, and, Lord. and they, and they, and they, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Amen. I'm trying my best. It means for people to recognize the God you are serving, your horns have to work. That's right. I'll cause it to bat for. And the NLT does not only talk about your mouth will be open. The NLT says your words should be respected. If people see you as relevant, it's about your mouth. Let's go look at it. 
in the day. And the day will come when I will cause the Asian glory, that is the horn, of Israel to revive. And then, Ezekiel, your words will be respected. That's right. So when your horn is working, your words is respected. They are respected. Do they respect your word? Or when you speak, they think you're a fool. But you'll not be a fool. Amen. I said, nobody will see you as a fool. Amen. They shall respect what you say. Amen. Say, by my home. By my home. My, 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 my voice. My voice. My words. My words. Will be respected. Will be respected. Pastor Daniel, what are some of the blessings when a person's home is working in relation to their words and their voices? Let me give to you. Number one, and I'll be done. Can I give to you? Yes. Whatever evil they say behind your back, people do not listen. Oh, 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 oh. I said, when your horns are working, whatever evil they say behind your back, people will not listen. Yes, Let me continue. Their evil report about you will not be heard anymore. Oh, 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 yes, oh, 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 yes, oh, 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 oh. Yes, Lord. And no, 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 this is a dangerous one. The negative voices in your head will be stopped. Amen. Amen. Because listen to me sometimes when you are when, when you are there, it's not an enemy speaking, it's your voice. Yes, sir. Your man will be telling you you'll not make it. You will die early. Look at what happened to your father. What happened to your mother? Look at look at the funeral you went to. Something similar will happen around you. They are negative voices. That's right. When your horn is working, they stop. If anybody is here that evil voices have been tormenting you, Jesus, today by the horn on this altar, yes, let Lord. it end now. No. Pastor Daniel, how do I reject these evil voices? The moment it comes on your mind, rebuke it. And sometimes they come unaware. You just then you are thinking when you come to yourself, say it will not be my portion. Amen. I rebuke it by fire. By fire. Because anything that gets into your mind, if you're not careful, it becomes your reality. Because when right. it jumps That's into right. your subconscious mind, it becomes your reality. If there's anybody here that something is bad is in your my mind, God, my I God. flush it out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And begin to ask you, are you sure your prayers are answered? Are you sure people love you? Are you sure there are evil voices? Today, I have put all of them by fire. Amen. Let me continue. When your horns are working, your voice is always powerful and it's always heard in the demonic camp. When your horns are working, your voice is very dangerous to the enemies in their camp. And this is the good news I also wrote over here. Negative generational voices of curses has no power over you. Amen. Because sometimes some yes, words Lord. were spoken in the family before you were born. That everybody will be this. Everybody will be this. But when your horn is working, your words are enlarged over the one you came Amen. to meet in the family. And let me continue over here. Okay, that's what I showed you. You are able to open your mouth in nightmares. The words they utter in their camps cannot work against you. Amen. Okay, it says, it says, what you lack will be no more. So you will have to, um, what you lack will be no more because people will give you what you are looking for. And this is the next one. The words, I like this one. This one you'll be happy. Can I tell you? Yes. The words of your negative advertisers will not be heard again. Amen. Let me repeat it again. The words of your negative advertisers will not be heard again. Amen. And this one, based on Hannah's situation, let me, this is what I wrote. The words of your mockers, they don't stay forever. Amen. Do you know that after Hannah got six children, was Penny not able to mock her again? No. Your mockers are about to stop mocking you. Amen. Let me continue. Let me continue. Based on this, this same scenario, they will not laugh at you again. Amen. People will obey you. Yes, Lord. People will listen to you. Amen. Your request will be granted. Amen. Your voice becomes so powerful in the spirit. Jesus. Your words are highlighted higher beyond the words of your haters. Amen. People don't listen to what your enemies say about you. Yes, Lord. 
people are happy to grant you your request. Amen. When you speak. Amen. I'm done be on your feet. Amen. Lift up your hands. Say, I have a home. I have a home. And it will work for me. It will work for me. Two prayers. Lift up your hands. You, you can let the late comments come in. Go. Lift up your right hand. Say, Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. I can't feel, I can't feel you. Hello, sound man, please, please. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. By your power. By your power. I activate. I activate. My horns. My horns. On every side. On every side. Wherever. Wherever. My spiritual horn. My spiritual horn. Of my favor. Of my favor. Has been located. I receive it now. I receive it now. Let it start working. Let it start working. For my life. For my life. Now. now. As I clap. As I, as I pray. Somebody clap your hands. Pray right now. Let your horns work for you now. Somebody pray. Let your horns start working for you now. Don't wait for anybody. If God to work for you, the horns are working for you. The horns are working in your favor. Somebody pray. Church, clap and pray, clap and pray, clap and pray. Let's pray right now. Your horns. Your horns. Your horns. Let me hear the frequency of your vibration. Your horns. I've made you to know that in order for your mockers to stop you, it's about your horn. Somebody travel. 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 You have a horn and it's connected to your mouth. They will accept what you say. Why is it? Two people go to the same place. They request for the same thing. Another is given. Another they say no. The days where they told you no is over from today. No more no to you. They will say yes to you. Have worship. Speak now. Speak now. Speak now. Lick up. Speak now. 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 Lick up. Shake up. Your voices should be heard. Your voice should be heard. Your voice will be heard. Yes, Lord. Your voice will be heard. Let it be heard. Let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard. Favor and acceptance. Favor and acceptance. Your voice is heard. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Testimony city. Speak. Your voice will be heard. I activate your voice. Now. 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 Your voice will be respected. Your voice will be respected. Your voice will be respected. Speak right now. Declare right now. By authority. By power. By fire. Your voice will be heard. On every side. From the north. South. East and the west. In the name. Stretch your hands on the altar. Stretch your hands on the altar. This is the last prayer. When you check the whole scenario about um, Hannah and this whole narrative, you know that when the horn was exalted, the mockers could not succeed again. This is your next prayer, God. Anything that will let people mock me. Jesus. Jesus. Anything. 
offender will give a license for people to mock me. My God. By my horn, let yes, it be stopped by fire. Yes, this is a good prayer point. Yes, sir. Say anything. Anything. That will give a license. That will give a license. For me to be mocked. For me to be mocked. Let my horn cut it off. Let my horn cut it off. I speak over you right now. Listen. Anything that will let people mock you. Jesus. Anything that will let your penina mock you. Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Let the altar cut it off. Let the altar cut it off. Let the horn cut it off. So God. I will not be mocked. I will not be mocked. I shall not be mocked. I shall not be mocked. Let the altar. Stop the agenda, Stop the agenda of, my of my mockers. Clap your hands and pray. Somebody declare. Now. Now. Disturb the mockers. Fight the mockers. Frustrate the mockers. Mockers will not work. Somebody pray. Those who are waiting to mock you. Those who are looking for alliances to mock you. Somebody concentrate. We block mockers. We sabotage mockers. Somebody travel. Travel. Declare. Travel. Travel. Stop the mockers. Stop the mockers. Block the mockers. Sabotage the mockers. Disturb the mockers. The mockers will not win. Go after the mockers. Go after the mockers. You will not be mocked. Never. You shall not be mocked. Never. We sabotage the worst of the mockers. No more mockery. 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 
once on your head. Don't Thank you twice. for joining us on Power for Your Living podcast. You can contact Prophet Daniela Martin on www.danielamartin.net or call the toll free number 1 314 7337 or call 233 240 799910 or email amoatt at hotmail.com. If you are blessed by this message, you can prayerfully consider partnering with this ministry by giving your offering on www.danielamwating.net or cash up, dollar sign, power of worship, one, or PayPal, info at danielamwating.net or MTN mobile money, 55 Thank you. You can worship with Prophet Daniela Mwateng at Power of Worship International Ministries, Spinters Road, Accra, Ghana, or any of his international branches across the world. Visit us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Clubhouse, at Daniel Amwateng, or Zoom, dubbed Open Heaven Zoom, this and every Thursday, 7 p.m. Ghana, 3 p.m. USA, ID 271 438-2248 438-2248 Password 774477 Thank you